Four ways to reduce the size of your photos on your iPhone. Let's go. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. I think we can all agree that much more photos are taken with a phone than with traditional cameras, right? On family vans, travels, on the day-to-day -day basis, using smartphones to take pictures is much more convenient since everybody has their phone on them all the time. They produce high quality images and we use our phone to look at photos and share them with other people or on social media. So it's just very convenient. However, since we can take pictures without having to pay attention to the quantity and high quality comes with large file sizes, these pictures will eventually eat up all of our storage spaces on our iPhones. And then we have, of course, the option to pay extra cloud storage, but we will fill that up as well. So we'll have to pay more and more and eventually you'll find yourself in a situation where you either keep paying big bucks or delete some pictures and start being more cautious about your storage space. For example, a few months ago, I deleted about 6,000 pictures from my phone to be able to downgrade in my iCloud service. So I advise you that you start paying attention to this instead of for a larger storage space in iCloud. Now, what we can do is to reduce the size of these images by compressing them or converting them into another format. So let's begin with number one. A great and conscious way to keep your images smaller in size but without losing quality is to take them in a format that has a better compression rate. The solution is to be found within the camera settings on your iPhone where you can choose the image format to be AGIC instead of JPEG. JPEG is a more common format but AGIC offers better compression compared to JPEG so if you want to save storage space on your iPhone it's a better choice. To choose AGIC over JPEG, go to Settings, Camera, then Format, and choose High Efficiency. Between the two choices here, High Efficiency will have your photos in AGIC with a smaller file size, while most compatible will use JPEG to be more usable across different platforms and devices. But you know, when it comes to sharing photos on social media in usability, there will be no differences. You might find this method weird, but it's working. And this method can actually be done with other applications as well, but we're gonna be using the built-in app, so you wouldn't even need to download anything. When it comes to sending images via email, WhatsApp, Messenger, and so on, they will always be reduced in size. If you don't wanna use a third-party software to do the job for you, send those photos to yourself. When you want to send photos via the mail app, it will ask whether you want to send them in the actual size of them or in one of the smaller versions. And as you can see, even between actual size and large, there is a huge difference. So just choose whichever one you prefer and send it to yourself. Voila, your images have a smaller file size iOS has a function called shortcuts that you can use for a bunch of things that not many people know about. One of these functions is resizing images, although you have to set it up first, but after that it works like a wonder. So let's see what you need to do. First of all, go to the shortcuts app, tap on the plus icon in the upper right corner, and then add action. Within the categories, choose media, and the first action you need to add here is get images from input. Then go back to media and choose resize image. You can see how it made a connection between the two. That's how it need to be. You can set it up as you want. For now, I'll just leave it as it is. And here you can add either a convert image, which will convert your AGIC images to JPEG, for example, or whatever else you choose. With the toggle bar here, you can also set the quality. Then add this save to photo album as a final action. Choose which album you want to save the converted photos to, but I think it's best to create a new one for them. Now to make it work, this is what you have to do. Tap on the info button down here and turn on show in share sheet. And then up here, you can rename it as well. Let's try it. So go to your image, tap on the share button here, and then find your shortcut. And there you go, you have your image resized and converted. If you're looking to batch convert your images fast and in a professional way, then the image converter in the Uniconverter is a perfect tool. It does the job super fast and it takes only a few clicks. If you don't have the Uniconverter yet, grab it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. All right, let's see how it works. So open the Uniconverter. 
then go to the image converter and import your images. If you click on the settings icon down here, you can set up the attributes for all of the files you've imported, but you can of course do it one by one as well. So click on the settings icon here. You can change the resolution, which will already reduce the size of the photo, but you also have the option to change the output quality of the images. Obviously, the lower you go, the smaller files you'll have, but it's good to keep them in a decent quality. You can set up a universal output format, or you can keep them in the same format. It's up to you. When you're done with the settings, select an output folder and then click on convert all. But there you go. Those are four easy ways to convert and resize images on your iPhone or iPad for that matter. Pick whichever solution you like the most and tell us your experience within the comment section below. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorial videos. I'm going to thank you for watching and I'm going to catch you in the next video.